off to work I go. But before we go anywhere, Chimmies! Chimmies! Yeah, we got work to do today. My window's frozen shut. I had to open the door. <laughs> but hey, I got a clean truck. Always show up to work in a clean truck, right? So I've got a temporary position that I'm uh, filling right now. There's a couple of their workers that have taken time off for Christmas or wanted to take time off for Christmas. And I'm like, hey, I'll drive around for you. Why not? We're going to go make some deliveries today and the rest of this week. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going there to next week. But next week we have other plans. And in the new year, I'm starting something new altogether. So it should be an interesting day. I, I really honestly have no idea what I'm doing today. I have no idea what to expect. I just know I'm making deliveries. I think they deliver around all of Southeast Manitoba. So like Winnipeg, uh, Steinbach, Winkler. I have no idea what's gonna happen. No idea, but here we are, going to work. Check this out, guys. Oh, the beautiful smell of diesel fuel in the morning once again. How I've missed you. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's kick the tires. Oh, this is great. Let's draw a worker on this thing. Oh, we're going to have some fun today. Well, it's too dark to show you what's in it, but we'll wait for the sun to come up. How about that? Right now, you'll just have to trust me. It's empty. This looks a little more familiar, doesn't it? Got me in an old freight shaker today. Nice 53 foot behind me. So I'm filling in for a guy for the rest of this week and some next week. And then I have a road test, middle of next week, somewhere else yet. And that's for a full-time position where I'll be home every night and every weekend. Things are looking up. It feels so good to be back in a truck. All right, so our first pickup, I don't have my GPS with me or anything. And then literally, I'm just jumping in the truck for them for a few days. But I'm hauling a 53-foot dry van behind me. Uh, picking up 10 pallets in Winnipeg here. Uh, they got sent the address to me. I just pulled over here to make sure I knew where I was going. Since I don't have my GPS in here, I gotta make sure I know. I'm familiar with Winnipeg. So, I know what says. We're going to Logan Avenue, all the way on the other side of Winnipeg. So we're gonna go around the north perimeter, down Route 90, and then to Logan. Okay. We'll pick up a few pallets there and see what they want me to do next. Alrighty, and this thing's a 13 speed. So, it's like riding a bike. At first I got in here, I'm like, oh, I've been driving automatic for a few years. I hope I don't embarrass myself. Nope, it's like riding a bike. All right, let's go pick up some pallets. Let's go do some trucking. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this for a long time. just in a little day cab here which makes it nice and easy to do the city work I believe these guys go all over southern Manitoba I was talking to a guy this morning that goes all the way out to Killarney and Brandon regularly that's a few hour drive oh this is my first day I'm the newbie I'm just the guy filling in for another guy I'm guessing they're gonna keep me closer to home I don't care they can send me wherever they want as long as I get to go home at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me right now. I'm just happy to be driving. You know, you, you never quite know how much you love trucking until you uh, you don't go trucking for a while, and then you get back in a truck. I feel like I'm at home again. looking forward to uh, next week that road test for that full-time position Monday Friday into Monday to Friday no weekends 
home in the evenings, long days though, 12 to 13 hour days apparently. So, that's cool, I'm okay with that. We're on Route 90 headed south now. Logan's just around the corner up here. We just passed Andy, the Kenworth guy. You guys gone to check out his channel yet? He sells uh, sells Kenworths in inland here in Winnipeg. I just just about well, I was thinking about going through him to buy a truck. This truck has the dreaded backup beeper. Oh no! I don't know if this is gonna work out. <laughs> I just went inside there and confirmed what door they wanted me in, and now I'm just. In here trying not to embarrass myself backing into their dock. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just don't want to mess up the first one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How did I get this far over? Full for crying out loud. I think I did all right. I think we're in there. I think we're in there straight. I think so. Didn't want to embarrass myself and mess up the first time back and into a dock, you know. So we'll take a look. That looks pretty good to me, I'd say. Let's go see what they put in there. Just LTL freight, eh? Okay, so I'm thinking we got more than half the trailer left, so I gotta let them know that I probably got about, what's well, a 53 foot trailer, so half of that is 26 and a half. So I probably got a, just about 30 feet, I'm thinking. There we go. First pickup complete, successful, another happy shipper. Now let's turn this into a happy receiver. Full on successful first delivery. I think they got some more stuff that they're gonna get me to pick up first though, I'm thinking. Ugh. Got these fancy two-way radios in here that'll uh, let me contact them directly. It's almost like having a CB radio without all the other morons on there yelling and swearing all the time. It's just actually the people you want to talk to that are on there. It's very nice. <laughs> I like it better than the CP. All right, we got two deliveries or two pickups picked up. We got one more to pick up and then the trailer's full. Just off to the right here is Inland. That's where Andy the Kenworth guy works. You want to buy a Kenworth, go talk to Andy. Good guy. I still want to go there sometime and do some collaborations with him if he'd be interested. He said he was last time. I hope he still is. If this guy in front of me is going half the speed limit. I thought there was somebody in front of him making him go that slow. No, he's just going slow. Went around a the corner. There's absolutely nobody in front of him. I got places to be. So I gotta remember constantly. I got one of these fancy things right in the middle here. I'm a real truck driver again. Look at me go. Shifting gears. I'm glad I actually took this temporary position because the road test I have next week at a different place, they're obviously going to make me do a road test in a, in a standard truck. Manual transmission. So this way I get a brush up on my shifting just a little bit first. It's like riding a bike though. It really is. It's the only thing you gotta remember is when you stop, you gotta push the clutch in. <laughs> really feels good to be back. I just don't wanna be gone for long periods of time anymore, you know? I, I wanna be home every night. I wanna be home on the weekends, and that's hard to find something that's good paying, consistent, and gets you home every night. The first successful pickup and delivery went off without a hitch, except I got here during lunch and I had to wait till they got back. Sit around twiddling my thumbs for a little bit, but that was the worst of it. So we're in Niverville right now. We have two more drops on the trailer, one in Rosenort and then in Steinbeck. And that's it for today, unless they got something else for us after that yet. Who knows? That's all I got on my trailer right now anyway. 
I gotta find a Tim's. Apparently Niverville has a Tim Hortons now. Did you know this? My cousin Will, he uh, called me before and I said, well, I need to find a Tim's. And apparently Niverville got a Tim's. But I think we're going through Morris as well. So uh, we can always stop by in there. Uh, we gotta find something. I need a lunch and I need a Timmy's. Desperately. It's a desperate situation. I need to get through the rest of my day. Come on, get her in gear, Josh. Get her in gear. Oh, 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 there it is. All right. Off we go. Delivery number dose. So we were here not too long ago. This is where that dog park is, remember? And we're so excited for Neverville because they got traffic lights now. Just like Blumenor. Very proud. Very proud. I spent a lot of time here growing up. We actually... Uh, have to go right past the new Tim Hortons. Very excited. I always get very excited when they build a new Tim Hortons. Because it's usually way overdue. Desperately needed. And you know it'll always be very busy and well appreciated. I don't know if I can park a truck. I've got a 53 foot van trailer behind me right now. I don't know if I can park a truck close enough to it. Well, we're gonna find out. Apparently it's on the other side of town, which I think is a weird place to put it there. Because everybody from Niverville mostly commutes to Winnipeg to work. And they head east and then up the 59. They put the Tim Hortons on the west side of town. Nobody goes past there in the morning on the way to work. So everybody in town has got to go out of their way, go all the way to the west side of town. And then they got to come all the way back through to go to work. I would have put it on the east side of town. But hey, I'm just a just a little truck driver. What do I know? I don't got any say in these things. I'm just happy they built one. Very happy for the people of Neverville. Apparently it's over here in the Shell gas station. I don't think there's any truck parking though. That's okay because we're also going right past uh, St. Agath, which has a Flying J. And I haven't had a good bean to cup Flying J cup of coffee in like a month. So we'll go there. I know they got truck parking at Flying J. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they do. Here we are. The old flying hook. I don't need fuel here. I just need coffee. Just gotta wait for Mr. Bison there to back her into that tight spot. Just gotta wiggle back and forth quite a bit. It's quite tight getting in there. Oh, don't go too fast. You don't wanna hit anything. All right, come on, bud. I know I'm back giving everybody a hard time. Did you miss me? Excuse me, bud coming through. I'm just gonna park in my designated coffee spot. I'm glad it's still here for me. My name is still on it. It's just very small and it's under the snow. It says this is Trucker Josh's parking spot. Right here. Has it been too long? Do you think they'll still let me in? Hope they still got my coffee. Hasn't been that long, it's been what, a month? One second, gotta put my muzzle on. I'm pretty sure they still want this. There we go, gotta make sure I don't bite anybody. See you when I get out. My battery's almost dead, shoot. Well, last delivery. It's three o'clock, so I'm not sure if they're gonna get me to do something else yet or not. I'm still good to go for a few hours. But we're back in good old familiar Steinbach. Gave us our dock. Let's go see what we have left for him in here, eh? It's been a fun day so far. I've actually really enjoyed this. Oh, I like this place. That's what we got left. Seven skids. There's five normal size skids and then two skids that are about 10 foot long. 
bit of a longer one, some boxes on top of it. But yeah, it's been a really fun day. I've really enjoyed it. Lots of fun. But they were clear that it is a temporary position. So, and I have another full-time position lined up. Hopefully that goes well. This is one of those fun docks where you get to back indoors through a door and into a black hole and you just gotta hope you're straight. It's actually they got, uh, you can probably see it in the mirror over there, they got lights guiding you in which help a lot. A lot of these docks don't do that and you just sort of gotta guess. <laughs> you gotta hope that you're going straight or stop, get out and look. That's probably a better idea. But sometimes it's difficult backing into a building because you can't see because of all the sunlight I guess. We did it. First try. Still got it. So they don't want me on the dock here. I gotta stay muzzled up in here. Because I am inside their building right now. They just don't want me back there where they're working. Each place has different rules now. So you sort of just gotta fly by the seat of your pants and just see what happens. After this, I don't know uh, what they want me to do. I guess I should radio in. I got this fancy two-way radio, like I was telling you before. It's like a CB, but better. Only the people you actually want to talk to can talk to you. <laughs> you don't get all that other nonsense you get on a regular CB radio. That's one of the reasons I never had a CB radio in my old truck. There's just nothing but garbage all day. Just people swearing at each other. There's vulgar, angry, guys on the CB radio always getting mad at each other this radio is nice because everybody on here I know is a nice person <laughs> and it's all work related I want to fix this but it doesn't spin it drives me crazy <laughs> well it looks like the day is done they want me to bring the truck back I guess feel her up I guess uh, I'll go and see what they thought of my work today. I hope they're impressed. Hey, look at these itty bitty baby tanks, eh? Like, just driving today, just what we did today, uh, it was what, Winnipeg to Rosenort to Steinbach. Half a tank, almost, well, a third of a tank burnt off. What's leaking back here? You hear that? There we go. Sometimes it just needs a little bit of convincing. Stop leaking. Look, 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 look. Fill up these little itty bitty tanks. I think my tanks and my other truck were th at least twice this size, at least. But you want to know the best part about fueling up this truck? No DEF. that's that everybody that was fun i actually had a really good day here great people good work tomorrow looks like i'll have uh two pickups one in uh in headingly coming back here to this area in steinbach and one in st boniface going somewhere else i enjoyed it i had a good day i had a good day time to go home now see what the wife's up to how cool is it to actually work in my own community, in my own region, and get to go home at the end of the work day? That is awesome. Oh, it looks like I need to bang my wipers off there. They got some ice on them. Not exactly cleaning my window properly, but it's pretty cool to be able to say, yeah, I delivered there, and then drive past it on your way home. Definitely much happier with this schedule. The other place where I'm apply, uh, where I'm well, doing a road test for, those hours are going to be a little bit longer there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be starting sometime around 7.30 a.m. and working till 7.30 p.m. on average or so. It's going to be like a, like they said, 10 to 13 hour day. I missed all the excitement. I missed all the excitement. I was too excited to say hi to you guys. I forgot to grab the camera. I got a rock star welcome. That's right. 
from everybody. I know, guys, we missed it. Maybe we'll catch it tomorrow, right? Gotta go back to work tomorrow. Then we gotta come back again. And you get all excited again. Missed you guys. Diesel, mom says you were snooping under the Christmas tree. Is it true? I think it's because he saw me wrapping gifts and putting more under there. I'm pushing gifts around. I see you, Santa brought me anything early. He did? Well, Grandma Santa. <laughs> yeah. Santa comes on the 24th. Yeah, so there's more yet. It's been all smiles since you got home. Apparently he was kind of depressed all day. Very clingy and crying a lot. As soon as we woke up, he was like high-pitched crying. Aww. So Didn't sad. know where I went. Yeah, he was scared. <laughs> but yeah, look at our Christmas tree. First of all, we got some gifts over here. And then after that, look at this. We don't even have kids yet. And that's oh, under... Siblings and nephews and parents. Yeah, it's not all for us, but it's mostly for us and the dogs. Just for siblings, nephews, parents, and us. We're going to need a bigger house just for uh, Christmas. We have to rent one just for Christmas. That's, that's good. When we build, we're going to have a specific spot for a great big tall Christmas tree and presents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love Christmas. We don't get people a lot of birthday gifts or anything like that, you know? We're not made of money, but one time a year we can get someone at least a little something. So what's for supper? Leftovers from last night. Oh. Okay, everybody lean in. Take a good whiff of that. It smells like garlic. Mmm. Ribs. Half of them just leaned into their screen right now. Even though I do that at least every second day. They I still would. do it. I would. You still do it every time. I get you every time. Anyways, I got quite a bit of footage today, so I gotta put this all together. And tomorrow we're gonna do it all over again. So I hope you tune in then. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Take care. I was just about to do the I was just about to do the Boyd body break ending. Stay fit and have fun! Boyd. Wasn't that Boyd Audubon? No, not Boyd Audubon, yeah. It was body Boyd break. body break? Isn't it Boyd body break? No, just body break? Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod. Yeah, <laughs> how many of you remember those body guys? Break. How's the music go? Um, body very, break! Very 80s. Stay fit and have fun! <laughs>